Hey there YouTubers, here comes a review of Van Riper State Park in Michigan's beautiful Upper Peninsula. Alright, there's my van, there's her van. 27 a night here. I think it's 31 if you want 50 amp. There's the showers right over there behind that. And the lake is straight ahead. I'm going to show you some more of this. Bits and pieces this time. So there's the van, there's a big open field with playgrounds. There's a building over there, and the lake is right through there. Michigami's a big lake. It's a big campground. I think the lady gave us good choices. Big trees. Whoa. This is the green space that was right behind our camping area, and if you got kids, great place for them to run around. I filmed this early, and overall we liked it initially, but the road noise got a little bit loud, so that's a detracting point from this campground, but it is beautiful. You are correct, that does look like a homemade teardrop. Want to take these stairs to the lake? Let's take the stairs to the lake. Okay. There will be no swimming today, YouTubers, but Michigami is the largest lake in the UP that's within the UP. Now I will say this early in the beginning, that's the road right over there. And we could hear a little bit on ours, so I would say we were on 31 and 33, which is the closest loop to the road. I would say go further back in. Maybe later I'll figure out those numbers to get you a little bit further. I couldn't hear it any in the van, and it wasn't too loud, but this is a big lake. It might be sunsetable, you never know. This is kind of warm. You're right, it's kind of warm. It's really warm. Yeah. I still don't think there's going to be any swimming in it today. No. Oh. I think this is a good bass lake. I, I forget. This is a good fishing lake. Nice playground. That looks like a bathhouse, at least a changing room. Swings. This is the beach area. It's pretty nice, but as you can see, there's the road. And this is the very end of the lake and it's a pretty big lake a nice little pavilion up there that's our campers are again are back over that way as you can see and you would see better with your own eyes beautiful lake just gorgeous and i'm sure it's busy in the summer because there was a huge parking lot for swimming so these are in the 40s here you can hear a faint little bit of road noise and they got little cabins a tiny home over there some of them are kind of cramped and some of them are okay like ours are pretty good especially there's a long distance between mine and that one there's the little tiny home i know i misspoke it's not a tiny home it's just a little cabin that you can rent it look all right but i didn't see inside mini one doggies there's another loop way over there we'll show you more all right in the centrally located bath house like i said coming in typical to all the michigan state parks and i like their bath houses okay that's that way that's 130 and going up this is 130 and going down this is probably as far away as you're going to get from the road Maybe you can hear it a tiny bit. I can hear it a tiny bit, but not too bad. This ain't like Berger State Park. Like I told you, uck. And again, some of them got some distance. None of them are terrible, but you're open. You know, some places have little trees in between. You don't have any of that here through most of it. As I say that, the one on the left has trees in between it. I like A-liners. That's the big one. You need a pretty much a truck to pull those. Yeah, it's relatively quiet over here. Yeah, you can hear a little road noise. But most sites are pretty level. Her site was level. I had to use blocks on one side. These aren't terrible. Up on this hill on the right, that doesn't look too level. But, you know, that's camping. That's why you buy Lynx Levelers. Or you make your own that work better sometimes. 
I know I talked about road noise a lot, but if it's crowded, it probably drowns out the road noise. It's born free. Yeah. That couldn't be the same one. Um, I don't remember it having a hitch on the it back. It didn't. I like born freeze. We're going to follow this one. She says this probably goes to the boat launch and some rustic camping, so hopefully it's not too far. I'm tired today. I haven't eaten. So we got off the road through the woods and found the rustic area. I think there's 30 of them. A couple outhouses. I'll look to see how much they cost because I don't remember. A couple days ago, rustic would have been more than enough, but it's cold. Like I told you in the driving video, I'm getting a little uh, spoilt. Well, this is 24, so there's quite a few. Hey, Chippy. These look like predominantly for uh, tent camping. I don't know if they let you put a van. I would assume they do. That's nice. But as you probably just heard, you can hear the road here. It must be echoing off the lake. It's pretty though. And again, don't let the sun fool you. It's pretty cold. Well, there's one hardy soul in a homemade little trailer. And that's the rustic area. I think that's enough of that. I'm going to cut through here. Head back. I was hungry. It's time to get dinner going. I'll walk down this one. This is in the 70s, kind of the middle-ish. And as I just said, when we got here, I didn't notice a lot of road noise, but now... Uh, my brain is listening. There's a little bit more road noise. But you get some kids running around, you won't hear them. You'll just hear all the kids yelling. This must be the camp post. I bet you. Yep. And they might put stuff out. Yeah. Coffee and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got a tiny little pontoon back there. It's a nice campground. It's funny that some campgrounds and even state campgrounds in Michigan, the prices fluctuate. Mm -hmm. Like we pay 22 at JW Wells and this is 27. I like JW Wells. You paid 22, I paid 25. Remember I had to Yeah. Pay 25 or 28? It's a nice campground with some big old growth trees. It's not super old growth, it big trees. Wonderful. Yeah, it's got the nice pine smell down there. It's a nice campground. There's a fair amount of people here. Yeah, yeah. Probably gonna get busier. Yeah. More you give another week or two, these places start packing up, won't they? Yeah. Leaf peeping. Okay. That's your uh, quick tour of Van Riper State Park on Lake Michigami. Hope you enjoyed. There'll probably be more stuff. Beautiful lake, nice campground, a little bit of noise, but other than that, you can come here and have a great and wonderful day.